this video we will focus on some useful widgets that can be used as part of the training experience. For example, the Portfolio widget. The Portfolio widget provides a live valuation of a list of securities based on their current market value, the purchase price, and the number of shares held. The widget layout is comprised of three sections. Firstly, the portfolios. The portfolio section lists a user's portfolio. Please note that we have the account picker experience. So should you have access to multiple accounts, select from the drop down. The second part is the summary section. The summary section displays consolidated data for the holdings of the selected portfolios, including general summary information such as profit, dividends, and total portfolio value. Note that should you ever wish to collapse this summary section, navigate to the top right hand corner and click on the arrow. This will temporarily remove that summary section to allow more view of the grid. If you'd like to reinstate it, simply click the downward arrow and the summary section will appear. Currently, we are on the detailed view of this portfolio widget. The detailed view displays a list of securities in the portfolio and includes detailed information on price, movement, volume, as well as other information for each security. Please note, like other grid-like formulas, you've got the actual column chooser icon, where you can configure visible, fixed, as well as hidden columns. Please watch a previous column formatting video for further instructions. In the detailed view, there is also the news indicator icon. This indicates if there are any news releases for that stock that you should take a look at. For example, BHP, the news widget appears upon selecting this indicator. You can then maximize it or cancel it out. Another way to view the portfolio widget is through the summary view. The summary view displays consolidated data for the portfolio including a pie chart showing the percentage held for each security within the portfolio. In hovering over a slice of the pie chart, that tooltip will provide more information on the market value, the actual volume and the profit and loss. And lastly, there is the tile view. The tile view displays the securities in the portfolio as a series of tiles and includes information on price, movement, volume, as well as other security information. Note that you could also create a buy or a sell order by selecting on either the bid and ask. Creating a sell order, you can see the curtain order entry experience appears and you can proceed to place that order. Going back to the detailed view, you also have the ability of the inline action menu. In this grid formula, you can actually select that drop down and buy or create a sell order. Much in the same way that you can also create a sell order of any bid and ask buttons that appear. This will open up the curtain order entry experience. Throughout the day, the relevant volume and price will update as new positions are added to the portfolio summary. A handy tip. Should you wish to have a portfolio view in a persistent access, you can actually add it to the portfolio side dock here. So when you toggle between different worksheets, this side dock remains. Next we have the trades widget. The trade widget displays detailed information about all historical trades for a specific time period. Let's start off with the account picker here. Should you have access to multiple accounts, you can deselect all and just concentrate on one specific account. We also have the ability to search and filter by security or order number. So let's just say I want to look for all IRS trades. By typing in the security code, it will filter to these specific historical trades. Alternatively, if I know an order number of a specific sequence, for example, here, we can actually look for those orders within the trade. 
Secondly, we also have the date filter. By selecting from the drop down, we can select from today, yesterday, or days in the past. Alternatively, if you know a specific date, select it here. And it'll show the results accordingly. And lastly, we've got the grouping. You can select how you would like to group your trades by selecting no grouping. Alternatively, by default, if there's no grouping, the most recent trade will come to the top. By account, if you have multiple access to various accounts, the destination, the exchange, and the order number. Just like any grid-based widget, you have the column chooser icon here. By selecting on this, you can actually set your fixed and visible columns, as well as hide those that you do not need. Please listen to another video based on column formatting which goes through this in more detail. Mm -hmm.